Okay, so, uh, you got this graph, you're telling me that this does satisfy the fact, or the, the, the uh, condition, that the average value is equal to the average of the initial and final values. And the first thing uh, that was mentioned was, well, you got the same amount of area above as you got below, but that requires that you know what the average value is, I, I, but the definition of average value. And you apparently, anybody remember the definition of the average value of a function? We've talked about it a number of times, okay? And it's one of the fundamental things you need to take out of a calculus course. And it's really a pretty simple idea, but it never has yet clicked. You want to make yourself a note and make sure it clicks. You really need this idea, okay? Uh, and the fact that you've seen it more than a year ago and we've used it several times and it hasn't clicked means it still needs to click. So Make it click, okay? So what I'm saying here is, though, that if it's a straight line graph between here and here, then it's going to spend as much time above as below, and you can do that by similar triangles and stuff, right? Just, you know, geometrically. And by symmetry, because symmetry is really kind of... You know, needs, if, if, if you have this symmetry, it's going to be so, okay? So I say same time above as below, but that's not sufficient. It has to spend the same time at any given, given distance above as it does below. Okay? Now that's not really a great statement because it spends zero time at any exact distance. Right? Because it's always changing. <laughs> okay? So, it, you know, I, I could pretty that up by saying, well, within an interval, it's that. Okay? But it should be clear that in this case, it's so, right? In this case, okay, so let's say here's the halfway time. Okay, here we are, and we go up to here. Whoops, didn't mean to go up that high. Up to here, and now, let's see here. Well, let's say at this point, it's still below. And now it's going to move above. Now it's going to move above like this, right? Okay? I'm sorry, I meant, meant for it to move above like this. Sorry. Okay, so if you have a graph that looks like this, I'm just smoothing it out. No, I liked it the first way better. Okay. Well, yeah, I've got too much on here to... Uh, start over and pretend I'd never done this. Okay? Let's do it right. Okay, so it stays this far below, right? Right. And then it doesn't go up much, but then at the very end it goes up to here. Okay? Well, it's... it's on the average, about this far below, but only about this far above, right? So a graph no like this why. could represent a situation where you have the, the, the average value um, is not the average of the initial and final values, but it's spending equal time above the average as below, right? It's spending, the time it spends below is further below than the time it spends above is above. Okay. So the time matches, just not the distances. Same time above and below. But, no. In other words, average velocity is not equal to the average initial time. Okay.